Welcome to our first Modular City update of 2024. Today, we're gonna to be placing the museum as well as our custom family reunion celebration modular that we just made. And if you missed that video, make sure you check it out. But Autumn, we're gonna be doing these and working on some minor modifications to the city. Are you excited to see how this turns out? Yes. All right, let's go ahead and start working on it. Road time. The first thing we are working on in our update today is making more roads. We always need more roads in our city as our city's grown over time and Autumn is working on constructing some of that. These roads are 20 studs wide. So we don't wanna go with the 16 wide because the vehicles in the modular city, some of the ones that come with the Powell Cinema or some of the other sets don't really fit well on a 16 wide street, especially if you want a nice tree lined median like we have here. So what we've done is we've created a custom road plate that's going to uh, have one by two black tiles and Autumn is just lining the street with a one stud stagger. And of course, this is rather parts intensive. You'll note that we are using almost 200 one by two black tiles on just this one road alone. And that includes the one by N tiles in white, as well as setting up that median. So the complication for this is identifying stores on BrickLink that will have these one by two tiles relatively cheap. And so far, the best deal I've found is about seven cents per with one store that had a couple hundred of these tiles. Now, once we finished up this one road, we moved down to the basement where we started putting some more trees together and updating some of the medians that we have on the rest of our city. You can kind of see the overview of the city right now and the one street leading into the city has those trees lined up, but there's still some work we want to do around them. Now, again, these Streets are 20 studs wide, which I allow us to really kind of add some life and vehicles and all of that to the city. But because we don't want the 16 wide streets, again, having to make these custom road plates can be pretty parts intensive. So while you're watching this, hey, go ahead, like that video and subscribe. That way you don't miss any of our updates on our city. We do like to do these updates about three to four times a year as our budget allows, and we want to increase some of the life of the city and make it more dynamic and robust as we add buildings and of course more roads. In fact, in this video, um, Autumn and Kiara are going to be adding a lot of really cool elements of life to our city that I don't think you're going to want to miss. It's definitely got a nice friendly kids touch to it and it's pretty fun to look at when all is said and done. You'll notice that our tree lined median is really cool and we have a lot of trees and flower pots. Now the trees themselves are an updated version of the one found in the corner garage. What we've done is we've added more of the foliage pieces as well as more of the small bright green leaves to the tree to fill it out and you can see us working on that right now here. So Autumn and I just really adding in a bunch of trees. Now we were able to find a lot of leaf pieces on the pick -a brick wall at our local Lego store. So that made this a lot cheaper. We also were able to get some uh, bulk brick from a friend uh, that donated to the cause. And so we found some foliage pieces there to allow us to make more of these trees. These trees aren't super expensive, even if though they do contain quite a few pieces because many of the leaves aren't really all that expensive. The hardest part really is getting the foliage pieces, which depending on where you go on BrickLink could add up a little bit to the price of the tree. So if you're ever working on custom builds within your city, they look really good, but do note the number of pieces can add significant price to your project. And for us, we're just accepting that and slowly but surely over time adding these custom elements to our city to make it look as good as it possibly can. All right, so right now I've worked on this intersection right here. Autumn's working on some trees and I've got the white two by four tiles in here. It's gonna demarcate the intersection in the main part of our town. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna slide this in real quickly. Here we go, sliding this in to the intersection right here hopefully if we can get that in there all the way just like that that looks pretty good right there all right one more to do which is the one leading into town all right so we have our streets 
finished for what we have available right now. We've got this long street heading down into the main section of town, as well as this street that heads into town. And Autumn, tell me a little bit about what you've been working on. I've been working on trees, and I placed the best character of all, Cookie Monster. Ooh, so we got a Cookie Monster. We're adding some life to the city, aren't we? Yep. Some stories and cool figs. So, tell me about some of the cool figs that we're putting in. Um, we, we're putting in Cookie Monster, we're putting in Santa Claus, chilling in the sunshine. Um, we have some alley cats. Ooh, alley the, cats. We'll show off the alley at the very end, huh? How about that? That sounds like a good idea. Um, we're adding just a bunch of animals. Kiara's going to add dinosaurs. Um, and... And that's it, huh? Yep. All right, so we'll check in later once we get everything placed. Now it's time to move on to placing our modulars into the city. All right, so here is our modular city. Here's the street heading right in front. We got our custom modular from last year built based on the downtown flower and design shop or the flower shop right there from Friends. And we have our Lily Street moving up into the center of town. And we've got this intersection now with all of the white tiles demarcating the edge of the streets right there. Now, in terms of placing the modular, check it out. We have right here, as Autumn is showing off, our museum, Naturalist Museum modular placed right over here. We have it between the fire brigade and the bank. And I love how the bank has that nice fancy architecture that goes along well with the Natural History Museum. One thing we do need though is a, con is a continuation of the road because we don't have enough black tiles to fill all of, all of that in. And so we're going to be working on that. And then we also over here placed our custom family Reunion celebration set. Autumn is showing that off right there. We've got that a nice corner building. Now in our video where we created this and then we talked about combinations, we really liked having the brownstone apartment next to it right here. So I really like how the flower garden is next to the fruit stand, but then zooming out and coming around the corner, we have this next to the detective's office, which is pretty cool. I like the heights, similar heights and how they fit together. And then this little uh, section here with the newspaper stand and the flower shop or the flower stand right here I think is really cool. So those are some of the big updates that we have on the city but we have more because Autumn and Kiara have been placing a lot of things throughout the city to add some life. Autumn what do we got? Santa Claus from the Santa Claus Chilling in the Sun. That's pretty sweet right there. He's definitely some deserve a time off. What else do we got going on? We have a dinosaur right here resembling Jurassic Park. Ooh, on top of the family reunion celebration restaurant. I'm, I'm surprised these people are partying there on the top of the roof with that, but okay. Oh, what's this There's over here? two frogs kissing, like the princess and the frog. Is that one of your favorite Disney movies? No. No, but you just wanted to do it anyway. Okay, what do we got coming over here? It looks like we got some seagulls. Yes. From Finding Nemo. Oh, yeah, to represent Finding Nemo. I guess we're having a Disney theme over here. Okay. And then over here, looks like we have more frogs on a date eating a... Ladybug. A poor ladybug. Poor old ladybug. How sad. And then in this alley, there's some oh, alley cats. We've got... To, let's go ahead and... cats. Brighten that up a little bit. Here we got our back alley and lots of cats. Wow. You guys put a few... And a rat. Yep. Tossed in a rat back there, so there, that's going to be some fun battles. I can definitely let we got a dumpster back here from the uh, boutique hotel, so that I pity the person has to take out the trash there. All right, so what else we got going on? It looks like we got a parrot right here on top of the apartment for the bookshop. Yep, a red parrot. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, there's your favorite right there. We got Cookie, Cookie Monster. Monster, yeah, zooming on into the intersection. Which way is he turning, right or left? Um. Right. Okay, that took a little bit. Uh, here we have a dead minifig. He's not dead, it's just we have to build a balloon stand and he's the balloon stand <laughs> person. Then we marked where he, where the balloon stand is going to be. And then the little kid over there looks like uh, he died. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that, that's, that's a work in progress. Our little promenade over here, we got a noodle cart, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what else do we have going on on the streets here? 
Oh, here we go. We got some stuff My on top. My favorite. Yeah, tell me more. From Ratatouille, there's the mice stealing cheese, or rat stealing cheese. And on the front of the Parisian restaurant, now let me there's come on over a there, then. singular rat that we named Ratatouille because he's there he is right there okay stealing food interesting cool very cool and then it looks like over here we got a, a yellow parrot on top of the green grocer that that looks fantastic and then we zoom around over here checking out the back side of the street so interesting we got the promenade and then i think i saw something over here in front of the diner. Yeah, we've got some magenta frogs. Well, one magenta frog, and then there's a husky. And it looks like another magenta frog right here yep. with Doctor Strange. Okay. And is there another magenta frog somewhere? Uh, oh, we have an owl know. and a butterfly over here by the assembly square. Paired on top of the town hall. Okay, so lots of animals. Lots of animals. All right, so do you have a lot of fun filming our vlog update for our city? I sure did. All right, so we've got a lot going on here in New Chagrin. Our first update of the year, I think it looks a lot better and we're adding more life to it. We just need to add some more roads. I think that's gonna be coming in a future update, but the city is growing slowly but surely. I'm pretty excited to do another update soon. When do you want to do another update? In the summer. All right, so we're going to be doing an update at least in the summer, maybe in June. Let's try to do that. Uh, in the meantime, make sure you check out one of our other videos. Like, subscribe, and always remember to keep, keep building, building together. together. Oh, you messed that one up. Oh. Oh.